All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is I've got like five comments slash tweets um, of people not too happy about me, I guess, or my play. And we're gonna go through and uh, give them a read, you know, give some thoughts, see what's up with that. So to start off, we got a set ripe with comments. Um, me vs. Elegant at Congo Saga recently, so let's let's find a good one. All right, so we got vintage pasta here. I is that a JoJo's edited picture of Barack Obama? Okay, it is. I would like to point out that the guy who's about to, I guess, shit on Olimar me is uploading epic Let's Plays. So, you know he's serious. So, let's see it. Whoa, dude, this match was so exciting. L loved watching Olimar run from one side of the stage to the other side of the stage to the other side of the stage. Then up smash or up throw. Wow, what a complex character. Uh, someone in here pointing out Luigi is, you know, lethal will be grabbed you at zero. And then <laughs> Arbiter, I guess, uh, wanted to give his input, and I appreciate that. But that does take skill, though. Zero to, de <laughs> zero to deathing somebody at zero. Or so, yeah, grabbing somebody at zero and taking their stock. That's the skillful thing. Me avoiding it? No. Every casual can spam side B. They're both degenerate playstyles, don't get me wrong, but Gay Lamar, <laughs> Gay Lamar takes the cake by a mile here. <laughs> That's a name I saw a lot in these comments. Um, they were not happy about that. Uh, honestly, I mean, wh what do you want me to do? It's Luigi. When has being next to Luigi ever been a beneficial thing? So, I'm going to keep side being. I'm going to run and I'm going I'm to mash the hell out of my B button. Um, and it's going to work. And uh, I look forward to you guys giving me more video views and just to write these nice comments. So thank you. Alrighty, on to the next one. So this is me versus Leo. Losers finals at Frostbite. I tried to pull some from some a, a variety of videos, but it can be a bit tough. Yeah, a lot to sift through. Oh yeah, this. Uh, Sigurd, I, I believe that's pronounced the blue. Looks like a, a real Fire Emblem fan. He was like, this Olimar looks so unprepared in this video, it looks like pools. How did they get here? And we got some, some replies. He's hard carried. CB, but can you call me pl Plug Walk? <laughs> Wanted to let Sigurd know that I'm hard carried. Uh, Lezzy in there with some more logical things, you know, kind of kind of gets the more logical discussion here. Um, but I just want to take a mo moment to point out, um, not only would I probably destroy anyone in this comment section, uh, but... Leo kind of just wins everything. I don't, I don't really know what what you want me to do about it. I'm trying. I'm trying to not get bodied, but he just seems to do it every time. Um, the hard carry thing hurts a little bit, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I'm used to it. You know, people don't like Olimar. Uh, how did I get here, though? It was for me beating everyone else. Um, I would say pretty fairly in a lot of cases too. So uh, it must have been a Olimar got to have. Uh, a strong ass back if he carried me that hard. But I wonder why Shutan lost to Ditto then. But that's a thing for another day. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So we're going to move on to the next one now. So up next we got me versus Leo again. This time at SmashCon. This was a this was a nice set. I got a shield break on him. It was a good time. And then Hyena626. Must be a My Hero Academia fan. Seconds after Myron loses, he tweets about how Joker is nothing but gimmicks. 36 people liked that. Uh, that's 30, 37 people just blatantly agreeing to something that's not true. I don't even think I tweeted about how Joker's gimmicks. I don't think I even tweeted about the set at all. And if I did, I'm like pretty sure it was just like Leo's really good. You know, he's kind of beating me every time. But we'll we'll get we'll get into this. How does someone who play old Mark complain about gimmicks? The classic. Nelly Nellin two? Nellin two? Olimar should be banned. The pigment colors are random, and he won a stock because he got double purple. They go in in the comments to, to correct him later, but uh, pigment aren't random. <laughs> they haven't been random since Brawl, and I only won because I got two purples. So are you saying I only won because I did my job? Like I played good? I didn't. I didn't see you going. Leo only won because he got our sin, or because he back aired. I don't, I don't get these people. Um, yeah, I double purple's pretty good, and I got it. And 
Leo made the unfortunate mistake of shielding when that happened. Um, but, yeah, so, so far we got, I'm carried, hard carried, my bad. Um, I should be banned, or Olimar should be. My Pikmin are random, and, yeah. So it, it kind of all comes together. I'm carried by something that's random. That's, Game & Watch players must be carried too with that 9. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see. We got a couple more comments, and we'll see what, what people have got to say yet. Alright, so now on Twitter, um, I was going through. Hard to find so many tweets, so much to scroll through. But uh, here we got LaFlair. Doesn't like Lilat. You can tell Myron was just mashing because he he was throwing at Shutan when he was already dead. This is the the famous clip, I guess you would call it, of uh, Shutan daring my Pikmin. Never hear the end of this. Which, to be fair, was a sick play. But let me let me inform you on what happened here. So while I do mash a lot, I like to press a lot of buttons. That's that's one of the ways I like to play this game. It's actually I found more fun to press more buttons. Uh, than if I don't do anything. But I threw that red Pikmin there, not to do anything, uh, but because I just didn't want it. I don't like red Pikmin that much. So generally when I think I'm going to take a stock, I throw it. But also, I would like to point out, um, I had maybe like a handful of games played against a semi-competent Richter at this point, and in none of them had I ever seen a Richter down air my Pikmin to recover. So... That wasn't even a thought in my mind. So while I guess I was mashing by the the definition, no, I don't think anyone was gonna call that. I mean, Shutan was probably the most the most likely dude to be ready for it just because he plays both characters. But like, I, I couldn't I couldn't have called it. But it's alright though because I still won, and that's the important thing. But uh, I hope Lila gets banned for you, man. Maybe then something will go right. Um, and last, but not least, we got mm, a glorious Lima tweet. Remember when Myron was a top player for like a month? This was not even, this was like two weeks ago. Oh boy. 1.7k likes, you know, people are liking that. Lima, the Bayonetta player, <laughs> the Bayonetta player. Evo, 2018 Smash 4 champion. Wanted to reminisce when I was a top player for a month. Uh, I would like to point out that Frostbite was in um, February and Pound was in April, so that's at least two months where I was getting top three at, at majors. Um, but that's b beside the point. I want to shift the focus onto you, and we'll kind of talk about uh, how you are calling me out. I definitely have taken a blown result. I, I mean, I'm not going to deny it, you know. I'm still figuring it out. It's hard. But at least in Smash 4, I felt like I was pretty consistently good. You went from, I'd never heard of you, to really, really good results with Bayonetta, to I'd never hear of you again. Granted, that was between some different games, but... Whew, dude, you thought the Olimar nerfs are not kind to me? You, you, you dropped off the face of the earth. I'm sure for other reasons too, but I, I don't think you're any more likely to generate meaningful results than me. I still get them every now and then, you know, still get the wins here and there. But I want to I wanna say thank you for taking the time to, to tweet me out. I, I can't wonder if maybe you were like sitting at home and you're like, Myron? You just like, I just pop in your head. I, I think that might be a theme because I see a lot of people just randomly tweet about me. But thank you for getting my name out there. I always appreciate it. It helps give me some follows. You know, get it right next time. It's like, I was top player for two months. You know, and in those two months, I mean, I managed to bullshit, my, <laughs> bullshit my way to 13 on the PGR. That's pretty good. But good luck with your results. I think, I think you're gonna need it more than me. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a couple of comments. We had some some nice things people were saying about it, about me. Um, if you guys like this, you know, leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you thought. I can try and find more in the future. Uh, that was my first time doing it, but it, it was pretty enjoyable to give it a read. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.